Welcome back to another episode of Why It Works on What It Is. Today we are going to be discussing the infamous, and as Ethan from H3H3 puts it, is perhaps the most underrated YouTuber of all time. That's right, we are going to be talking about Captain Disillusion and his series Debunk. A special shout out to the Reddit user The Bad Comedian, as it was his comment that sparked our interest in doing a video on this topic. Alright, to start things off, Captain Disillusion is a superhero persona played by Alan Melikjanian, whose superpower is skepticism. His series Debunk showcases this skepticism, as Captain Disillusion deconstructs different viral videos, trends, and hoaxes using his expertise in visual effects and animation. Alan has been churning out spectacular content over what is about to be 11 years now, and realistically deserves far more praise than we can give him in this video. But still, we'll do our best to give him props. Like usual, we're going to break the video down into three sections, which are as follows. The nostalgic design of the show and character, the audio and visual elements, and the satisfaction of debunking. And through this, we hope to give you our ideas on why Captain Disillusion's debunk works. Starting with the overall design of the show, Alan takes his VFX experience and morphs it into a thematized throwback to captivate his audience. His visual style is derived from 90s era superhero and educational programs, and this is extremely effective at drawing in his mainly 25 to 35 year old age demographic, as the content blends childhood pop culture callbacks with some more adult themed humor. Some direct influences are TV shows and movies like Captain Planet, Bill Nye the Science Guy, Beekman's World, Spy Kids, and Robocop. This nostalgic design is also re-emphasized through the consistent format of the series. From the constant intro of Greetings children, Captain Disillusion here. To the classic joke exit and catchphrase Remember, love with your heart, use your head for everything else. Debunk is full of all sorts of repetitive elements that give it an episode-like quality reminiscent of the aforementioned shows. This combines with the story-like progression of each video to create an incredibly nostalgic and entertaining format. Another major contributor to this factor of nostalgia is the Captain Disillusion persona. The character is marked by a sort of classic superhero charm which is eccentric and borders on arrogant, or as Alan describes it, How I wish, like the dickish version of me that I <laughs> wish I could be. This persona allows Alan to consistently insert a level of comedy into his videos that makes them quite amusing. All of this is coupled with a colorful costume that distinguishes the character while also symbolizing the idea that the persona is some combination of illusion and reality. While Alan is mainly known for his proficiency in visual effects, I'm going to start this section by briefly surveying some of the audio techniques utilized in Debunk, as they're quite impressive as well. To illustrate the attention to detail that's present in this audio work, I'm going to cite a small excerpt of the video Superhuman Tape Measure Skills Debunk. Placed with a stretchy animated mess that follows the door back. It wrongly connects to the door at the edge instead of the handle, and peeking above it, we can see the in this small clip, you can see that there are eight different elements of sound being utilized. These include things such as the background music, Captain Disillusion's voice, and an array of sound effects during different animations and transitions. These audio elements all work together to enhance different aspects of the video. For example, the music fits with the theme of the series and highlights Captain Disillusion's voice, and the sound effects work to emphasize the impressive nature of the animations. That acts as a good segue into what the Captain Disillusion brand is so heavily praised for which is its spectacular animations and visual effects work. Starting off with the basic elements of this visual design, I'd like to highlight the astounding level of detail in everything from the transitions that stick to the theme, to the small animations meant to shift the viewer's focus or provide comedy. The reason these videos progress so seamlessly is because Alan is willing to put in the work and pay attention to these small details in every episode. These visual elements also help support the nostalgic factor of the series with animations of things like 90s inspired CGI gadgets and just the general aesthetic of the effects. Alan usually spends a month on each video, and that's likely the main contributor to this remarkable production. To further support the validity of this point, I'm going to cite the video Making One Second of Captain Disillusion, which is a two minute long demonstration of high speed editing work, showing how one second of a regular debunk episode is made. This video serves as a rather clear cut example of the amount of work that goes into constructing just one of these videos, and that it ultimately pays off to give the audience a constantly captivating experience. The last and most crucial element to the visual design of these videos is the extraordinary deconstructions that Alan shows through 3D animation and visual effects. It's one thing for Captain Disillusion to give a valid explanation for why a viral video or trend is fake, but it's an entirely different thing to be able to demonstrate, using 3D modeling, exactly how it was faked. Here are just a few examples. 
Creating this short effects shot is so easy, you won't even feel bad when Ang Lee doesn't thank you for it in his Oscar acceptance speech. The exact distance between all these markers helped me extract a camera solve and recreate the move in 3D much more precisely than could be done with auto tracking. I think I just got it. It's not the magnets that drive the motor, it's the changing current. As long as you have electromagnets turning on and off on the stator or the rotor, or on both, things will move. That's right. It's these deconstructions that seem to act as a cornerstone of this entire series by providing visual proof to his claims. Through these elaborate, often comedic demonstrations, Alan is able to both fascinate and concisely educate the viewer on some type of visual trickery and strengthen their ability as a skeptic. Overall, the astounding high quality audio and visual components of the series are a huge contributor to why it works. They also act in congruence with the nostalgic design to help emphasize the last point, which is the satisfaction of debunking. Now that phrase, the satisfaction of debunking, is not something that's commonly said. Most people don't find a sense of satisfaction in having something exposed as fake, especially when it's something like a beloved viral video. However, it seems that Alan has found a way to make watching a debunking an incredibly enjoyable experience. And while I'd love to believe that the spectacular production and zany personality of Captain Disillusion are enough to explain this, I think that there are deeper, underlying reasons for why this is. I'm going to try to explain how this series is able to tap into the satisfaction of debunking in two main ways. First, from a more scientific perspective. Basically, the processes responsible for learning, and those that make us feel good, are both located in the same part of the brain, the limbic system. As we engage in learning, dopamine is released to reward us and make us feel good. Additionally, the series pairs this teaching with elements of humor, which has been proven time and time again to aid in the process of learning while also causing the brain to release even more dopamine. Essentially, Debunk teaches the audience and provides them with easily understandable information, often in a humorous manner, which causes the brain to release large amounts of dopamine, hence the satisfying experience of watching a Captain Disillusion debunking. The second way I'll address the satisfaction of debunking is through a much broader cultural lens. As previously addressed in other Why It Works videos, we currently inhabit an age of information. Anyone with access to the internet, in the majority of developed countries, has an incomprehensible amount of information at their fingertips. And while this is an incredibly powerful tool, it's also a tool that's quite difficult to use. This is because the internet has become oversaturated with content. Things like fake news, viral hoaxes, ad campaigns, and trolling have made it increasingly difficult to utilize and discern the validity of most information online. I bring this point up because I think that channels and websites like Captain Disillusion have become successful because of this. Captain Disillusion acts as a source of truth and clarity in this age of information. The debunk videos not only provide information that's clearly backed up through visual demonstrations, they also take apart content that's misleading, effectively sorting through the massive amounts of information characteristic to our era. When watching one of these debunkings, the viewer feels satisfaction because they're being presented with valid information, as well as the tools to sort through information in the future, since Captain Disillusion teaches his viewers how to spot fake content. Overall, the debunk series is able to make debunking a satisfying experience because of the dopamine rush it inhibits, and the fact that it acts to combat the surplus of misinformation that plagues the internet. In conclusion, it's a combination of the nostalgic design, impressive audio and visual elements, and satisfaction gained through watching debunk that make it work. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Why It Works on What It Is. Leave a comment if you thought we left anything out, or if you have a suggestion for future Why It Works episodes. Remember. Love with your heart and use your head to like this video and subscribe to what it is. Thanks for watching.